So I could say I'm in danger to make them stay, right? But what if I just don't do that because I'm not really in danger? What if I tell them about Lady Brock and Hoos? Maybe they'll stay because of that. Laertes? What's wrong with Brit? She say yeah. something. <laughs> I must go to her. You weren't sailing for Paris? I was, but Paris will still be there in a week. My thanks. My thanks for your excellent timing on this, sister. Had you caught me a moment later, I'd have left her alone. Okay, good. They're gonna stay. Laertes no longer believes that Laertes is on a trip to Paris. They now believe Lady Brit is unwell. And now... Laertes is gonna surprise Brit, and it's actually gonna happen! Because both the people are alive and not in jail, or anything like that. Can I actually attend this event where my father follows up on the whole poison thing? I guess. Ooh, I hope I make it in time. Yeah, we're good. I ought to be swift. Is this... It... it what's this vial? Oh, this scent. Poison. But it cannot be. Ophelia was correct. None should possess such a horrid thing. To the flagstones, let it sink into the earth. It shall do no harm now. And we... Ah, oh, damn it. We can't explore in there. The king's poison stash has been emptied. Okay. Question is, though, does that mean that our father is going to stay alive? Because if King Claudius wanted to, they could do the same meeting and have a drink and it won't be poisoned, sure, but they could just stab our father. Like, it's not like that's the only way to kill someone. Although... Mm, if they stabbed him, that would be extremely suspicious, wouldn't it? Whereas poison, not so suspicious. It could have just been a heart attack or something. Oh. Ophelia. I found the poison you described. I see. And what do you intend to do with it, Father? It is gone. I've dumped it out upon the floor. It shall never harm further. Father... He won't hesitate to harm others. The poison's been stopped, but not the man. My love, no one man or woman can stop a vengeful king. It takes a proper coup. And we are both far too small to raise one of those. Someday you'll understand how futile these things can be in reality, yet feel so close to grasp in the mind's eye. Let's grab the key to Gertrude's room, I suppose, just in case. So we can't go in, right? No. Nope. Yeah, been in there before, but only in a world where the queen passed away. Hmm. Alright, so what do I care about right now? Conversation between Gertrude and Horatio. Do not care. The ladies in King Claudius do not care. What's going to be happening in the courtyard here? Marcellus and Hamlet? Oh, they're talking about the ghost, aren't they? I don't think I can face my uncle. I'll stay out here. As you wish, my lord. I'm thinking about what I want to do for this time loop, because I can't do everything I want to do in one time loop. A lot of them are mutually exclusive. I want my father to live, because we just dealt with a poison thing, so I want to see what happens if they continue to live. And for that to happen, I think I need to warn them away from Hamlet, which means that if they're not there and get killed by Hamlet, 
That means Hamlet and Gertrude are going to die. And if that happens, then I think the whole, no, definitely the whole disciplining Hamlet thing can't happen. So... If Polonius dies in that room, does that mean they don't burn the documents? If they do go to Hamlet and, and get killed by them? I don't know when that happens exactly. But for now, for this loop, I'm going to warn Polonius away from ha Hamlet. Ah! Away from Hamlet. Stop. Is that the what's wrong with Hamlet option that does that? Something's wrong with him. It is true. What? Something else is wrong. Perhaps you'd bring up your experience the next time the king holds court. Huh. I... What if you were a danger to you? Danger to me? No, so that's not the option that does it, right? I didn't see the option that did it. I'm not... I don't understand exactly. Hmm. Shall I push this discipline thing, then? Let's see if we can get the disciplining to happen. Because like now, at this point, I don't know if Polonius is going to die or not. Or Hamlet. So I need to mention it to you, right? Hamlet must be disciplined, and then they're going to have a talk with him later. Maybe not quite yet. I think I have to speak with, like, Gertrude. And then come back. Hamlet must be disciplined. My queen. Irma. Goodbye. I'll speak with her further. Okay. Gertrude is going to seek advice from Irma on parenting Hamlet. Fortin. Right, for now we have this whole... Event. Fornbras decided there's no need to continue the bad blood between our nations, my lord. That is bullshit, but I can't do anything to stop it right now. Right, so we're going to give our whole account of Hamlet acting weird, and we're going to push the Hamlet should be disciplined thing. Perhaps that will ke keep Hamlet from killing Polonius? Huh. And keep Hamlet and Gertrude alive, I hope. Now then. Right, all that dealt with. Laertes is going to surprise Brit in just a moment. Ah, and it's happening in the courtyard, not in Laertes' room. Thank God. My lady. Lady Brigitte? Oh, I guess the surprise is that they're still here? Brit. Oh, come now, don't look so surprised. Did you miss me? Shouldn't you be on the sea by now? Couldn't stay away from you, as always. So you're... what? You've returned? Hmm. And definitely delayed my departure, more like. My family needs me close right now. My sister especially. Ugh. Oh, come on. Feely can't be without her big brother for one little summer. <sighs> Don't call her that. Fine, I won't. But you're tense. What's really going on, Laertes? We'll talk about it tonight. When we're alone, away from prying eyes. Oh Hi. god. I'll see you tonight, yes. Yep, I'll be there too, brother. Of course. May I have some oats, brother? May I have some earplugs, brother? Oh, I want to be there for the conversation between Irma and Gertrude. I want to push the discipline thing. <clears throat> My lady merely needs a gentle push. And I am the one to deliver it. Okay, the Irma and Hamlet having a chat thing. Good. Is that actually likely to happen? Yes. Yes, it's going to happen just a little bit after the start of the meeting between Lady Brit and Laertes. I hope my brother can finish pretty quickly so I can get out of there before the end of the chat. <laughs> huh. You know what I'd also like to do? 
I want to talk to the ladies because I want to. Uh, I still have a quest related to them that I haven't progressed. The whole Guildenstern is dead, they're throwing me a party, and then I guess I died shortly thereafter and couldn't attend the party. So. How did I. How did I start the whole thing where Guildenstern wanted to play dead? What did I tell Guildenstern to make them want to do that? I don't remember exactly. I think I just talked to them. Like, I think I said, like, I'm in danger or something. Oh, I can't say that anymore. I could say Brit's a spy. I don't know, an odd duo. Why have you been rummaging around in odd places? Does that do anything? I'm just going to mess around here and see what I can make happen. Ah. Uh, I don't know if it particularly matters which option you choose. Because I think I just used a different option to trigger it. Maybe. What option did I choose? I was barely even paying attention, to be honest. Uh. It was one where I said that there's a spy in Elsinore, and Lady Gildenstern was like, Ha, yes, I'm the Norwegian spy. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Just pretending. Oh, you know what else I could pretend about? And then cue this. Pretended oh. to be dead. Okay. Good, good. I mean, horrible, but good. I'm supposed to... Uh, I could tell other people, right? Like, what if I... What if I tell Horatio about Guildenstern being dead? Do I want to, actually? Because I want it to be a pity party so that they invite me to the pity party, right? Is this at all believable to anybody? She passed away recently. Uh-huh. Oh, with the hat, I recall now. Nice lady. Shame she had to, shame she had to pass so young. He didn't seem to particularly care. I have a feeling nobody is going to particularly care except... Except for either Hamlet or, of course, Rosencrantz. Hmm. Let's go speak with Hamlet. Uh. Ah, there it's all the way at the bottom. What is it? She's passed away. What? What? How? Okay, what is this gonna do? How did she pass? When did this happen? Uh, she was, uh, she drowned. Uh, yes, drowned. Off the docks, I'm afraid. No. How horrible. Who let this happen? Where were the guards? Why wasn't anyone watching? Does Rezzy know? If not, she ought to. And I want this investigated at once. I want to know exactly what took place. I just... I need to understand what happened first. The rest will follow. Uh. Okay, what's that gonna do? Are they shattered? Uh, they're upset, but they'll work over overnight. Hmm. So what about the funeral? Yeah, it's listed there, but I haven't even told Rosie. What if I don't tell Rosie? Will they just not show up to the funeral because they won't know they're dead or what? Ah, anyway, I'm going to tell them. Okay, we have a lot of things happening in a very short amount of time. I don't care about the royal family dining. So let's head to the funeral. Is anybody else going to be here? Is Hamlet going to be here? No, looks like not. Okay, we've just been invited to the party, which is happening, thankfully, not when anything else is happening. Okay, uh, now we need to quickly get to um, Laertes' chambers for the meeting with Brit. Seems I've showed up early. Or not. Doesn't it say it's happening now? Yeah. There you are. Okay. Please don't fuck. My lord. So this, some of this might be the same. 
Okay, so this is different. I heard you were unwell and I came to find you. Ugh. Unwell? <laughs> Who told you that? Uh, Ophelia. She mentioned you were out of sorts, acting strangely. I told her I hadn't noticed. Of course, men never notice these things. <sighs> it's been months, Laertes. I still haven't heard from her. Your mother? Yes. She promised she'd write to me each month, and now, nothing. I must assume she finds me wretched, or is displeased with me somehow. I've spent each day racking my mind trying to think of why, and I just can't. Hmm. You haven't received one letter? Wasn't the queen to make sure you received them? Yes. But she hasn't brought me anything. In the meantime, I sit and I thread needles and I read Latin and I advise my lady on her choice of dress and... It's all meaningless, Laertes. All of it. It's not meaningless, Brit. So... What of your art? Have you found a desire to create lately? Hmm. Perhaps, if I had the means to do so, but I haven't. And that ugly little town outside the castle has nothing of use to me. Ooh, my ears just perked up. Metaphorically speaking, ugly little town outside the castle? A town where Simona might be? It's nothing like Copenhagen, where the masters throw their workshop doors wide in the summertime. Hmm. Have you spoken to Horatio? I believe he's an artist of sorts. He might be of use to you. Why should I? Perhaps. Perhaps I might. It just seems pointless. I shall die here, or else become someone else's pawn. Just a carved figure they can push around however they like. Anyhow, enough of the macabre. So glad to know my despair is castle gossip now. <sighs> I think you ought to watch Ophelia's back. If you don't watch over her, Claudius might... Hmm. You think the king might harm her? That's quite an assertion. Think a moment. She broke Hamlet's heart, and he's still smitten with her powerfully. He watches her like a lovesick fool. The king believes this was driven him mad. If Hamlet were to do something foolish, such as ask for her hand in marriage, then Claudius couldn't use him to make political allegiances any longer. And he isn't a popular guy. Okay, this we've seen. Okay, are they going to... Oh, no. Uh... <laughs> Not again. Oh, this... Talk at the end seems to be a little bit, a little bit different, too. You said Ophelia asked you to come speak to me. She did. Oh. That explains it, then. What? Reveal yourself, you little pervert. I can hear you mouth-breathing. Wait, no, w Wait. Did you know I was there the whole time? Who are you talking- <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> it isn't so horrible. Wait. I can explain. <laughs> Yourself. How creepy you are? Don't worry, we're thoroughly aware. Listen. I, I knew something wasn't right with you, Brit. I thought my brother could help you. I wanted to make things better for you. Because I know how hard they've been lately. Why would you... No way. I don't believe you. You're lying to me. You must be. You must want something. Believe me. I assure you it's no trick. I don't want anything. Just to be on friendly terms. Spare me. Uh. She still doesn't trust me. I wonder if there's something more I can do. My brother mentioned Horatio and Gertrude. So, uh... So, yeah. You won't tell father, will you? <sighs> Let's both agree to pretend this never happened. Right, that's... Probably for the best. Lady Brit now believes that Ophelia wants to be friendly, and Ophelia is in danger. Okay.
Okay. Oh, did I miss... That took a while, didn't it? Hamlin Irma having a nice chat. I missed that. Damn it. Man, look at all these events. First day is so busy. Polonius is remembering my mother. I hope they didn't burn the documents, but I don't know. Ah, the party's coming up soon. Tomorrow we have father and the king plan to catch Hamlet. Don't know what that's about. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Also, about Lady Britain, I'm supposed to speak with Horatio and the Queen. Well, the Queen is in here with Gertrude. Oh, they're in their chambers. Can I go in there? I mean, I know I have the key, but like, will it let me in there while they're talking? And I'll speak with Gertrude after. Locked. Okay. Oh, right. The event isn't happening anymore. <laughs> I forgot that from two seconds ago. But anyway, we can still speak with Gertrude. Hmm. Not that. Lady Brockenhus. My lady. You're close to Brit. Do you know what's got her so doom and gloom? Brit. I've had just about enough of her lately. She's been so short-tempered with me. And all because she hasn't heard from her mother since she came here. Her mother hasn't ridden her? But she lives just a crow's fly away. Mm. Oh, heavens. She's written Brit, of course. That dreaded woman can't stop writing to Brit. A new one comes through the gate nearly every day. But I hid them all, obviously. Hid the... Hid the letters? Yes. Yes. This is my duty, Ophelia. Brit's father sent her here to become a lady of the court and to set aside childish things. He warned me Brit would look for every possible excuse to run along home again, but he won't have it. She used to become Lady Brockenhus. Hiding Brit's mother's letters was all I could think to do. If she read them, it'd only make her terribly homesick, and what then? Besides, they were so depressing. I wish you'd come home, darling. I wish you'd never left. Well, I put all those silly letters where unheard wishes go. Where unheard wishes go? Oh. Never mind. Forget what I said. Where unheard wishes go? Uh, like, in the well? Wishing well? Maybe? Also, damn, Gertrude, that's fucked up. To become a lady and not be childish, we must forcefully... Sever all contact between you and your family so you are completely alone and depressed. Great. Hmm, the party. Where's the party gonna happen? In the grounds. Well, let's go. I don't want to miss it. 